Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today, I'm in Ohio County, Indiana, where I came across this old phantom bridge back in the woods. Stay tuned, and we'll check it out. Before we talk about this old bridge, let's talk about what defines a ghost road and a phantom bridge. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water, such as a stream or a creek. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. About a mile and a half west of U.S. Route 56 on Hartford Pike in Ohio County, Indiana, you'll cross a small creek by way of a modern concrete bridge. However, to your left, you'll notice a one-lane road going off into the brush. That one-lane road was the original Hartford Pike up until about 1985 when the road was realigned and bypassed this single-lane bridge. I'm not sure when the original bridge was built, but I'm guessing in the 1930s. It has steel beams running the length of the span with a wooden floor that is now rotted out and falling apart. The bridge sits on stone bridge abutments and doesn't appear to have ever had any guardrails. You have to wonder if anyone accidentally drove off the side and into the creek at some point. The bridge can barely be seen in the winter when the vegetation is died back and is totally hidden during the summer. This is one of many phantom bridges hiding in plain sight throughout Indiana. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.